2020 has been a weird one. Summer 2020, also super weird. I forget how hot it is outside occasionally because I never leave my house. There's one thing music fans always like to talk about this time of year. What is the song of the summer? What are people playing at the pool, at the beach, at the backyard barbecue? Since this year everything is canceled and we're all rocking masks instead of swimsuits, working on that weird face mask tan, it's like a tan where you can tell the person's been wearing a mask on their face all day, you know? Anyone doing that? No? Just me? Please keep watching. This year is obviously different. People aren't streaming as much music as they usually do pre-pandemic. Hot summer jams are not as hot. The number one song this summer on the charts has been shifting around a lot lately. There's no huge song like in previous years. Remember Despacito, the In My Feelings Challenge, the Macarena. So today, using a rating system, I completely made up off the top of my head and using a bunch of current songs I randomly picked from the charts and blogs and my personal playlists. We're going to find out and determine the song of the summer for 2020. All these songs can be found in a Spotify playlist I made with a bunch of other songs I couldn't fit into the video that's linked below. Obs. Here's the point system. Each song is graded on a one to five scale in four different categories for a total of 20 points. Math. The categories are relevancy, does this song feel like it's from 2020? Summer vibe, totally subjective, means nothing. Literally just my opinion I made up with my ears. Popularity, is it hot with the kids? YOLO, dab, as if. Nobody says any of those things anymore, I'm pretty sure. And longevity, are we going to remember this song in say, I don't know, 2021? So those are the four categories. Okay, here we go. This one is everywhere, but didn't the album come out in like winter time? One point docked for being kind of old. It makes me want to dance. It's got a creepy summer nights vibe, but docking one point just because I don't necessarily feel this is screaming summertime to me personally. Former number one song, huge hit. The Weeknd is a superstar. Do I need to go on? I feel like this will be one of The Weeknd's best known songs in the long run. Maybe because it's like AHA's Take On Me, but way sexier and more illegal sounding. Like you're getting away with a dirty murder crime. Final score, 18. I'm a savage. Okay. Classy, bougie, ratchet. This one was doing okay and then Beyonce hopped on it and made it huge. She's been around forever and a name like Beyonce doesn't scream 2020 to me specifically. However, Summer Vibes, this is a take no shit song. It is an anthem. It's empowering, straight up banger. Summertime is meant for songs like this. Um, going back to the whole Beyonce's on this thing, did I mention that? This will be Megan's signature song for the foreseeable future. It's too damn good to top. It's ear candy, it's fun to rap along to, it's the whole package. So final score, 18. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. Jack Harlow is fresh faced. He's a brand new star. The remix has some big names. This is a 2020 bop, no doubt. The piano line sounds like jumping in a pool to me. Big time summer vibes. I don't know. That remix I was talking about, it's got Lil Wayne, Tory Lanez, The Baby. Took it all the way to number two on the Hot 100. You done good, young Harlow. You done good. I stand Jack Harlow. I have for years. I think he's got talent. He could be around a long time, but I feel like the narrative around him is the same old white rapper frat boy trope. Think Asher Roth 2010. Obviously Harlow's way better, way more charming, tons more talent. We'll have to wait and see if he can top the success of what's popping for the whole song in total, 17. This is the most 2020 thing ever. A random forgotten song from years ago getting a second life because a remix from an obscure artist went viral on TikTok. Could that happen in any other year? Maybe 2021, but I can't predict the future. So as of right now, this is very relevant. Summer vibes, <laughs> are you kidding me? This whole thing sounds like it could have been produced at an actual pool party. That sounds electrically dangerous. Hopefully that wasn't the case but it makes me want to down some Bud Light Limes and forget to put on sunscreen. Is this song popular? Yes. How do I know this? Because I am sick of hearing it so much. Longevity, low score. It's just a remix people can recreate a dance to on TikTok. Does any trend on that app last more than a few months, max? The whole situation reminds me of DJ Snake remixing Aluna George back in 2014. <laughs> 
Forgot about that one, didn't you? That's what's going to happen to this song. Final score, 17. I've docked exactly one point in relevancy because this song was hot in the spring and it's still kicking around. Why is it still kicking around? Because it sounds like a summer night in the club. That music video is pretty crowded though. Gives me anxiety. Popularity? Uh, yeah, two of the biggest stars on the planet. Little Monsters and Arianators unite. And, and that ties into the longevity. Big points for this one, 19. New hit, new star, 2020 sound, video that was made at the TikTok affiliated Hype House. Could you get more this decade than this song? One melody, over and over, catchy like sugar, whole video is a pool party, sweet like candy, summer encapsulated in a two minute earworm, top 10 hit, it's everywhere, your mom was humming it the other day. The only thing not working for this song for me is longevity. Not a chance anyone's bumping this in October, no way. Final score for Blueberry Fago, 17. Watermelon sugar high, watermelon sugar high. We're off to a bad start with this one. Major points docked for being released in 2019. That was like a lifetime ago. Also, this could be the song of the summer for any year, honestly. It doesn't really sound like 2020 specifically, you know what I mean? But it does sound like a summer hit. From the sonics to the lyrics, everything here, perfect for the season. The song is everywhere, super popular. I don't get why, personally, not my thing, but nobody asked me. I do think there's some longevity here, but I just think Harry's got better songs. Final score here, 15. Might get some heat in the comments for that one. Come at me, it's summertime, I like the heat. He literally made this song and gave it a dance so it could go viral on TikTok. Again, so 2020. But the whole song sounds like freezing cold Toronto at 2 a.m. Drake knows how to do summer jams. Remember One Dance, remember In My Feelings. This ain't it, Aubrey. If you want more summer vibes, I would go with his newer hit with DJ Khaled, Popstar. This song was everywhere for a second and it hit number one, but I think the ship has sailed too early for a proper song in the summer moment here. And yeah, two points for longevity. This is not gonna be remembered as one of Drizzy's best songs. It's catchy, but if it weren't for the dance, no one would still be talking about this one. 2C Slide gets a 12. That's the lowest score, I think, so far. Speaking of TikTok, this dance craze propelled this one to rise on the charts this summer. It was everywhere on the app. If you ignore the super depressing lyrics, holy crap, this song is sad. But the song's as breezy as the TikTok it inspired, especially that one with the girl, like the wind's blowing and she's doing the dance. This song's been climbing and holding steady on the charts, getting some radio play. It's got the chops. Beyond this year though, it remains to be seen whether this will have a long life or if it'll just end up on a future TikTok's early days playlist. So final score, 16. Oh yeah, Taylor Swift dropped an album this summer. I'm not sure if the summer of 2020 will be remembered specifically for that, but we'll see. However, one thing is for sure. Everything on this album, and especially this first single, sounds like autumn. It's not summer music, sorry. It is Taylor Swift though, so it's everywhere at the moment. Super popular, full points there, and I don't know. My opinion, it's probably her best album ever, or at least like top three. As jams for your summertime in 2020 and beyond? Yeah, I don't think so. This one's for Hot Cocoa by The Warm Fireplace. Even that album cover, it makes me feel like temperatures are dropping. It wants to make me grab a, a comfy uh, pullover, a sweater. Can't think of the word right now. Anyway, final score, 15. Okay, I think that's it. I think we did good here. We covered a lot of songs of the summer for 2020. I don't think we're forgetting anything. Oh, wait. Okay, you remember how I said it's kind of up for debate what the song of the summer is? It's not. This one's a TikTok hit. It was on the top of the charts more weeks than any other song this summer. The baby is probably the hottest commodity in rap right now because of this song because it sure wasn't anything else off the album. Sorry, truth hurts. The lyrics are very relevant and topical. Talk about issues the black community is facing and there's even a Black Lives Matter remix. 
relevancy all the way. The production, the guitar, it sounds like a laid back summer song. Uh, popularity, everything I've already mentioned. Also, you know this song. You probably already know the TikTok dance. As of now, it's DaBaby's signature song. And it might stay that way for a while. This has been a weird summer in a weird year. And he hasn't really faced strong blockbuster competition. So this is looking like it's going to take the crown. And it has my vote. A perfect 20 points for Rockstar by DaBaby. So thanks for watching the video. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're listening to this summer. What's on your playlist? Don't forget to check out the playlist I made below. If you have Spotify, if you have ears, if you have AirPods, a booty to shake, the playlist is for you, my friend. I'm Ben, the Playlist Fiend. Thanks for watching. Wear a mask, stay safe out there, and have a great summer. And yes, I am filming this video in a hot-ass car in Central Texas in the middle of August, so I'm getting the hell out of here. Goodbye. Goodbye.